copy and complete this diagram to show what happens when a current carrying conductor is placed into an external magnetic field. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a current flow along this wire and it's placed into or between two poles of an external magnet. And we have to explain what happens if you reverse the current or if you reverse the magnetic field, you turn the magnet the other way around. Now just note please that uh, uh, single poles can never exist on their own so this would be a magnet connected there'll be a south pole over here and over here there would be a north pole uh, so we have two separate magnets but let's take a look and see what happens uh, first of all completing this diagram to show what happens to this current carrying conductor okay so first of all we have to make a current flow in the wire the best way of doing that is to connect a circuit to a battery or electrical power supply okay so we're going to connect it to a battery and put a switch in the circuit so that we can turn on the the switch and current will flow from the large on the long side of the battery that's the positive side in that direction when we turn the switch on and we'll get a current flowing in this direction now what will happen the current carrying conductor because it's inside this magnetic field will experience a force and this effect is called the motor effect and the force on this bit of wire will be vertically downwards now why is that well the magnetic field around the current carrying conductor is a circular pattern looking something like this and it reacts with the magnetic field the external magnetic field and the external magnetic field will go around it repelling because they're in the same direction and that that reaction creates what's called a catapult effect which catapults the current carrying conductor downwards and we have a force being applied by this interaction now you don't need to worry too much about the directions of these magnetic fields I just wanted to show you the reason that this force occurs now what happens if you switch the current around if we were to change the battery around so that the current flowed in this direction so we can say if you reverse the current direction what do you think will happen well it will be the opposite situation and so the force would be upwards and this wire would try to move upwards so the force also reverses to the other direction what if you kept the current flowing in the same direction but you flipped the magnet around so we've got uh, we'll put the North Pole over here for example instead of the South Pole and we'll put the South Pole here so this would mean that the the lines of magnetic flux would flow that way from North to South well it's the same thing if you reverse the magnetic field if you reverse the magnetic field then guess what the force also reverses to the other direction so each one of these things will reverse the force as well if you did both if you reversed the current direction by turning the battery around and you flipped the magnet around then they would cancel each other out and you would still have a force acting downwards on the wire so this is the motor effect and it's the basis of all electrical motors in the world they all work because of this interaction between a current magnetic field and an external magnetic field causing a force and therefore the possibility of creating movement and motion from electricity and magnetism